These simple lines of code were in the QNQ CTF and the date logger challenge and this challenge was so good I I really liked it. It has an idea, uh, a great one and I have never seen something like it before. And it's so simple but it took some time because I didn't know how to solve it. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a challenge, you know. If you go and uh, start from the beginning, we have session start. It starts a session. We have data, which is an array containing some data. And uh, among the data is the flag. You can see right here, but it's a test flag because it's in the source code. Then we have a search uh, va a variable. Uh, it takes the search parameter and uh, tries to search. Uh, it sets found to false. I have no idea why. Uh, for each data as date uh, and get the content from it from this array so it basically searches for anything whether it's the date or the content if the data exists it will uh, set our session of the last found date to date and destroy our session that's it this is the whole source code if you go to the website right here you can see the search uh, where you can try test it will be right here. You can also have a uh, simple XSS, but it won't matter because you don't have an admin bot, so it doesn't matter. And uh, that's basically it. So how did we solve it? Uh, well, you see the session start right here? What if we can make it not start? Why? Because if we go into this if statement, what if we try to destroy a session that hasn't been started yet? But how can we do this? Or why would we do this? Well, we know that if a character exists or like if the search term we searched exists in this, it will uh, do this stuff. So maybe if we can like uh, destroy an unstarted session, it will reveal us the flag. Uh, kinda like uh, SQL injection, which goes like, um, you try to search uh, Q and Q sec. This is the flag format, we know it and uh, it will destroy the session right if you then add uh, an a character if it was a correct char character it will destroy the session if it's not it will not destroy the session so let's say the flag is q and q sec this is the flag okay so if i search for uh q and q sec sorry and then i type b it will be wrong because it's it's not the correct flag so it will destroy the session but how can we do this? How can we make this session start doesn't work? Well, let's first verify our theory uh, because if you if you couldn't understand, so let's just try it uh, locally. I have exam. I'm gonna try uh, do th to do this on it. You can also try this. Uh okay, this is the server locally, which is running. Uh, sorry, wha where is it? Where is the code? Let's try to add a symbol indicator. Let's try to add an echo and uh, say success, for example, if we get uh, the right character. So we know that what we know the flag starts with Q, send, it says success. We know it starts with Q and Q, right? Success. But what if we do Q and Q A? It won't say success. This means our theory is correct, and we have now to stop the session from being started. Well, there are actually a couple of ways to do this. Uh, one of them is to just simply add like a thousand parameters, and uh, this is not the way I solved it. Well, since we know now that we can uh, like try to destroy the session, what if we don't have a session and send our request? Let's try to do this. Oh yeah, we have to access it. Let's try to th send this without a request. Let's first let me open up burp. Now let's, uh, that we opened up burp, let's try to send uh, our searches without a session. What will happen? It will not do anything. What if we put like an invalid character right here, like a dot? It will show warning session start, session ID is too long or can contains illegal characters. Only A to Z, A to Z and uh, zero to nine dash, comma are allowed but this is not how I solved it actually I solved it by just getting a, b a valid BHB session and invalid BHB session ID by being too long which is uh, like this for example it works 
Then let's say we want to search for Q and Q, which is the start of our flag. What will happen then? You'll see here a warning: session destroy, trying to destroy uninitialized session because the session start failed because we provided this, or we could just simply provide an invalid uh, PHP session ID. Uh, and then we can just try to brute force the flag like it's a blind SQL injection, so Q and Q A is incorrect, but S is correct. And uh, I made this uh, simple Python script. All it does it it puts the URL. It uh, puts a long uh, PHP session ID right here. Kind of long, but this is what I got. Uh, this is the start of the flag as we know it. And uh, we're gonna do uh, if the flag doesn't end with this. This means that it's not yet uh, complete. So we try to search uh, using this and uh, check if the word uh, destroy is in response to text it will be a correct character and we add it to the flag it will not uh, if, if it's not just uh, keep uh, searching and then we try to run the script it starts with f and uh, sorry i'm gonna stop like uh, i'm gonna remove this tried uh, stuff this is just uh, to see if it was working at the start Starting with first, co uh, correct char f, and then we're gonna wait a little bit uh, until the flag is completed. And uh, I'll wait until it's completed and get back to you guys. The flag is beginning to form right here. We got uh, uh, we got third, third blood, which is not quite what I was hoping for, but uh, it's still good. And uh, it was a really, really fun challenge. Uh, it's actually a good challenge because like it doesn't give you like a one million lines of source code to go through. It's just symbol like 20 lines and a unique idea. And the flag uh, is like forming right here. Let's wait for it a bit. But uh, this or like how I solved it, it was just simply like not pure luck. It's, it's actually um, like you have limited functionality uh, so you try to mess with it as much as you can and it will lead you to solving it eventually uh, yeah now how's the flag looking uh, the flag is finally complete q and q sick if you linux sad you should be sad actually uh, yeah uh, i guess if you learned something new don't forget to subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next video